It's 2018, no slack, you right? She want party. She want party. Hi, you guys. This is your girl, Vanna Supernova. I know the scenery looks familiar, and that's because I just filmed this look. Now, today I'm actually filming multiple videos, and that is because I have multiple videos to put out this week. It has to be put out this week, y'all. And so I'm trying to push through, get them out there for you guys. Playing catch up here, it's 2018, no slack, you right? So the quote of the day is, you no longer have time. You no longer have time for people who cannot support you. You're blocking that 2018, okay? No more giving of yourself when you don't have of yourself to give. Some people drain themselves trying to figure out what they can do to help the next person and sometimes it's time for you to stop all that and look at yourself to see what you can do to help yourself. Because once you're drained, you become depressed, your anxiety overwhelms, takes over you, it's just, it's not a good feeling. So the quote of the day is you do not have time. And you have to be comfortable with saying no sometimes. If you need your me time, and me time, let me tell you guys, is the most important thing you can have. Honestly, one of my counselors at university told me, day one, you have to have a me day. And I chose a Thursday because that's the day I didn't have classes. A day, I don't care if you go to sleep all day. I don't care if you eat all day, if you go shopping all day, if you go get your nails done, your hair done, if you read a book, something, do something that you enjoy doing. You have to have those. And you have to make time for yourself. You have to, have to, have to. That is priority. If you have kids, you have to have, you and your spouse have to figure it out. Family members, something to the point where you don't feel overwhelmed because you will crash. And when you crash, your world crashes with you. To maintain homeostasis in your life, you need me time. So anytime somebody comes up to you and you are feeling overwhelmed, feel comfortable with saying no. Feel okay with saying no. Say no in the mirror to your damn self if you need practice, but be comfortable with it because this year you do not have time. You don't have time to waste because we got goals. We got goals to set. We got goals to achieve. We got dreams to achieve. And don't start tomorrow. Start today. That was the quote for day two. Whatever you got going on start today because tomorrow's not promised so remember you ain't got time and you gotta start it today you have to you have to starting today start your me day start goal setting start all the things you thought you couldn't do because you felt like you didn't have the time to do you make time like I said, I always keep my planner with me at all times and it's a time incremented calendar and it's something I bring with me everywhere I go. I hold it near and dear to my heart. Day three is no joke, you guys. I wanted to give up so bad day one. I did. I felt like, shit, I don't have anything in my stomach. It's all in your head. You do the master cleanse, you do anything that you feel like you can't achieve and you feel like you could conquer the world. Okay, I know this is only day three and I can mess up tomorrow. And actually, is it day three or is it day four? Look, I done lost count. It's day three, y'all. But for real, on a serious note, these quotes of the day, they come to me like in the middle of the freaking night. I never think, oh, what's gonna be the quote for tomorrow, I wonder. It'd be like, you do reflection before you go to bed. You have all these reflections and all these thoughts in your mind. And you're like, well shit, that's just the quote I'm gonna live by then. Like you have to have a mantra, something you live by. And since I'm so multifaceted, you know, we're just gonna have multiple mantras, okay? Okay, day three. I'm starting off late again. This time it was by choice and not force. I wanted to be a late bloomer today because I had this look to film. 
and I had a different video to film as well. And so that's just the sacrifice I made. That's just how the cookie crumbles. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with uh, my editing. And so I'll have to talk to you guys later. I'm probably not gonna upload this until day five. I'm not sure how I wanna clump my videos together, but I know I don't wanna post a video every day about the Master Cleanse because that gets redundant. But I know you guys may be interested in different little checkups and stuff. So I figured I'd just pop in, give you the quote I'm living by today and share that with you guys hopefully it inspires somebody once again i mean i am a doctor but listen i'm not your doctor check with your physician first before you start these cleanses like don't just be going googling shit on the internet and trying to figure it out for yourself and end up injuring yourself some people have chronic diseases and they can't do these cleanses some people have chronic diseases and there's specific cleanses for them so really just check with your physician before you try anything um, once again, you guys, this is day three. Can't wait for day four, day five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days I'm going for you guys. It's possible. You can do whatever you set your mind to do. I love you. It is day four slash day five. I haven't been to sleep yet, so technically I guess it's still my day four because I'm about to go to bed right now. And I want to kind of give an update. I had so much energy day four that I could not sleep at all. Like, I've been up all night. When I say I've been up all night, like, all night, yo. Holy cow. My tongue is all white not even gonna show it because it's the grossest thing you've ever seen in your life um yeah i'm gonna vlog tonight for day five because i don't want this to be incomplete i want to make sure i come to you guys every single day give an update and that's it i'll see you later hey guys it is officially day five just want to do a quick check-in to let you guys know how i'm doing day five is okay so far um I did a check-in, a weigh-in, I'm sorry, not a check-in, and I'm at 227 on the dot. I really had a hard time yesterday because I got really dehydrated, and I'm pretty sure it's from the saltwater flush because my saliva was very salty, so I'm not doing the saltwater flush today until I could um, increase my water intake and get rid of some of that dehydration. I really felt it yesterday, so I wasn't feeling all that great. Um... I got the thick white coating on my tongue um, on day four, I noticed it, and it's just still been sticking around throughout day five, not gonna show it, cause it's gross, you know what a white film tongue looks like. So, yeah, and um, yeah, and it looks like you brush your teeth and it comes right back, so don't think like, oh my God, just go brush your teeth. Yeah, we all brush our teeth, chill. Um, but it just comes back because your body is still spewing all that ick toxin from your body. This isn't going to be a long check-in. Just something really quick to let you know how I'm doing on day five. So day six is good. Um, sorry if you hear scratching in the background. That's my cats. I'm making a bunch of noise. Anyways, day six was okay. It was good. Um, not feeling as tempted as I was on day five, like to quit. Day five was kind of, um, it was okay, but it was kind of hard because I was very tired and groggy. Day five, I was really in a bad mood. Day six, I'm just saying all the things I want to eat after this is over. I'm like, I'm gonna have pizza, I'm gonna have wings, and I'm gonna have Haitian food all on Super Bowl Sunday so I'm tripping because I'm not gonna have all that at the same time it just kind of feels good to affirm that I'm gonna eat good when I'm off of this um <laughs> not saying that I'm gonna eat that stuff for real but it's just gonna be nice to have food in my mouth is what I'm saying so um yeah on to day seven <laughs> 